what uh, you know, everybody has that that moment, you know, that life changing moment where you know that fork in the road goes the other direction. Uh, if it's not too personal and we have time, what if you could touch on what happened with you in your life uh, to make you say, you know what, life's too short, nine to five ain't cutting it. I've got to li go live my life. What was that moment for Seth Godwin? Um, just having the ability to, to be honest with you, I never thought that this was ever going to happen. Um, but the Cliff Notes version of, of how I got to the financial space that I'm in, right. um, I worked in management for Walmart for a few years, decided that was no longer what was going to, uh, rule my <laughs> life. Um, cause I was, I was giving my life to a company that wouldn't care if I dropped dead today, like Absolutely. they'd have a replacement for me by the end of the week. Right. Um, so Got out of Walmart, uh, started my own business with uh, with my friend and his mom, and it went well. Um, but financially, we were not cutting it. Right. Uh, what type of business lives. was that? It was a freight business right, right. out of Ellison Field. Nice. Um, wow. Yeah, and it it was a it was a successful business. Ran it for about a year and a half, and then we ended up selling it. Right. Um, during that time, though, we were sacrificing everything in our personal lives to benefit that business. And uh, my credit went to crap. Um, everything just kind of fell apart. So right. I learned the fundamentals of credit and wealth building. Um, and I haven't looked back. And now I'm able to share that with literally millions of people now. And it's right. really cool. Well, you just touched on something pretty cool, too, because you were talking about your business and your credit went down. Uh, a, a lot of folks don't realize that you have your business credit and then your personal credit. And yeah. I've seen you talk about that before. And can you touch on the, the importance of, you know, if you have an LLC and you have a small business, the importance of your business credit versus your personal credit? Yeah, absolutely. And honestly, the, the business credit side of things is something that I'm still uh, learning on. Right. Um, but we all do every day. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, but when it comes to your personal credit, it literally, it literally defines your entire life. Um, and you're and how successful you can be because I, I didn't know this um, for the longest time but your business credit is initially going to be kick-started by running your personal credit right and um, that was mortifying <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, but, I mean is there a certain place that somebody should be minimum bef before they try to start their business credit. Let's say, you know, I, you see a lot of people that are, are, are not doing well credit wise, and I don't want to go down the rabbit hole on this, but you, then you also see a lot of business credit people reaching out to people with bad credit. And to me, it sounds like you're saying that's not a good idea. Build your personal credit first, then start your business credit. Yeah. I mean, if you don't understand the, the fundamentals of, of how credit works, period, it doesn't matter if it's a personal or a business account. You're, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to, you're going to ruin yourself. Right. Um, so I don't know if there's a, a specific score or a specific point to be at before you start your, your business right. side. Um, I just say make sure that you're actually educated and know at, at the very least, uh, as far as credit cards go, know how to use a credit card without paying interest. Right. I think that's a really, really good foundation to have. 